The fittest winner is not just a journey of six contestants. It's a journey of six contestants and all of you, the online participants. We are doing this together. We are striving to be great together. Hi, I'm Tiffany Roth and welcome to episode two of The Fittest Winner. But before I bring the girls out here, I just wanted to talk with you guys about um, what this means week two, because the first week we have a lot of adrenaline, we're in it, we're ready, but then life is gonna set in and cravings are gonna start to come about. Temptations are gonna float across your way. And what do you do about that? And you know, our goal in the fittest winter is not only to make you healthy in your body, but in your mind and in your emotions. And we actually have a lot of emotional attachments towards food. We use it to celebrate with our families, to have parties, or at work, we'll have a snack table, or just to take a break, we wanna go out and have something that makes us feel good just for that moment. But you need to be equipped for success. With Dr. Bird, she has an incredible program that she's gonna to explain to you that is available for all of you online participants. We need to be on the same page. We need to be armed with all of the equipment necessary to be successful. So we cannot make temporary strides, but we can make lifestyle changes that really solidify our progress. Okay, Dr. Bird is here on The Fittest Winner. I am so excited. She has a wonderful program called Emotional Eating Breakthrough, How to Lose Weight and Keep It Off for Good. Tell us about your program, tell us a little bit about yourself and how we're gonna break through this emotional eating pattern. Emotional eating is such a big part of the journey to sustain yes. healthy eating, losing weight, and continuing because we can always get out the gate but it's a sustaining that people struggle with. I'm a psychotherapist, mm -hmm. I specialize in emotional eating, I do an inner work process where people can really get to the core and the heart of what's creating the problem and really retrain their brain to overcome the behaviors that cause them to overeat or to eat more than they want to eat and don't really serve them nutritionally or serve their well-being in life. Yeah, and I can testify that she is an expert of getting to the issue <laughs> so fast. Everything that I recommend to you guys is because I fully stand behind. I don't endorse people that I don't know their product. And I actually did a session with her that was so amazing that it made a shift in my life that created more abundance and um, an openness of heart and mind that I had not experienced before. What are your principles based upon? How did you create this technique? Well, I understand that you can't really change anything outside if you don't change what's going on inside. Yes, so just kind of give them an overview of what it's going to be like to do your program. Well, there's two programs. One where they can have an individual session with me along with the Emotional Eating Breakthrough full program, which is a book, a workbook, and an incredible 12-week audio series, which is a brain retraining program to really shift that emotional eating pattern and mm. change it and sustain it. Those audios remain with them for life. They can right. use it and we really get down to the nitty gritty and really work on those layers that they probably just are not aware of that's driving them to eat. And then after we finish this eight week journey, there's an additional four weeks that you can continue with Dr. Bird so that you have the Tiffany Roth workouts here, you got your emotional eating on point, and we have the Fit Club to kind of get together and celebrate. We're gonna be awesome, okay? And again, this is a revolutionary um, experience of redefining fitness. So it's not just about being mentally strong, it's not just about working out, it's about mind, body, and spirit working together towards greatness. So we have completed our first week's challenge, which was the water challenge, and that means that all of the contestants and all of you online participants were drinking eight glasses of water a day. Your body needs to be hydrated. And the example that I gave all the women was that imagine that you had this pristine, say, Mercedes-Benz top-of-the-line car and you put crappy gas in it, you never change the transmission. Pretty soon, this beautiful engine would not be functioning at its best. So I was drinking enough water during the week, but Friday it got really hard for me because um, Friday nights are usually my nights to go and drink beer. And I was like, with my water, I'll just have another water. <laughs> um, and that was so hard for me. I had to leave the restaurant and just cry. And then now looking back, I'm like, wow, I cried over beer for 45 minutes. Right. <laughs> As we get along and as we reach our goals and reset our bodies, we'll be able to incorporate things that we like. So it doesn't mean that you'll never have beer again. Right. But right now we're doing something else. It's not about the beer or the coffee. It's about the mental strength. It's about sticking to your decision, keeping your word to yourself. This whole challenge is to elevate your level of thinking 
and to teach you how to keep your word. So how did I know that you were actually drinking that water? Because you posted it, you let me know, and the best story for me was someone who not only did that, but did another assignment was they downloaded the Train with Tiffany app and they did it at home with their kids. And the winner is Brittany. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> This jacket, which is really my motto, fit, fierce, and fabulous, means that when you are fit, you commit. When you are fierce, you say, I can. And when you are fabulous, you are just being who you are, which is an amazing person that lives a life filled with greatness. And now, I will announce the winner for the online participant who drank the most water, who was the most motivated, who made the most posts, and the winner is Barathi. So congratulations, and remember that we are in this challenge together. So every week, we're gonna have fun, exciting prizes and giveaways for the contestants and the online participants. So make sure that you tune in for the Rockstar Challenge every Sunday on The Fittest Winner. Okay, so I'm here with the Fitness Winner team and we have Dr. Bird. This is an exciting moment as we're preparing for our journey through her 12-week program, which is the Emotional Eating Breakthrough. We're all gonna have sessions with her and you guys are gonna be able to have a session too. It's an incredible journey towards really reclaiming not just your body, your minds, your emotions, and really taking charge. And our goal here in working through with emotional eating is really for you to understand how much power you really have deep inside of yourself to create the change that you want. Food becomes the band-aid. It becomes a, a, an escape, some, a feel good. I think what triggers me is needing a place of comfort, mm -hmm. if that's fair to say. I, I kind of like, after a long day at work, I want to come home and enjoy a good meal, you know, and, and but that idea of like it being a source of comfort is, is an emotional place. I don't know if this is an emotional connection, but sometimes I'm just blank, I'm not present at all, and I'm just mindlessly eating, mm. so that is when my overeating really happens when mm -hmm. I'm not paying attention. Dr. Bird is here for you. Her emotional eating break breakthrough experience is spectacular. I wanna make sure that you have all the benefits that we have as contestants, so please get this package for yourself. Tell me a little bit about what you feel you're struggling with in terms of eating patterns, in your relationship with food? I feel like since I was younger, um, I've, I was born and raised in a neighborhood that was very deprived from healthy eating. Like, I've always dieted and I've shed the pounds or released them and then I pick them back up and then I go back into the diet. Why do you think that is? It definitely has to do with maybe not having self-control of myself in terms of like having mental power to, to say no and stay consistent. How do you think your emotions play a part in this? Um, I would say that it's a matter of weakness. Um, not having self-control is it reflects in weakness in me. I feel overwhelmed when I, not when I'm eating it, because I'm loving it, of course, while I'm eating it, but when I know that it's Monday coming around and I have to get back into this detox or green juice diet or this apple diet and all these other millions of diets that I search, I get emotionally overwhelmed. You also have another side, which is the deprivation. Yeah. So you have this yo-yo of either binging or depriving, so you have two mindsets. Yes. So let's get into the binging because of course that's the biggest problem of all. Mm -hmm. Every day, practice supporting yourself, going inside to the place where you feel that disappointment and changing that into something that's really positive and encouraging. Yeah. You do that before each meal you watch yourself when you're going into that whole mental loop so that you pay more attention to the pattern rather than ignoring it. Um, well, I've been obese as far as I can remember since I was young. And um, just, I say the struggle was being bullied. It was tough. Uh, 
was angry mm -hmm. and sad a lot. How do you feel that's affected you in terms of weight? Eating food for comfort and um, trying to make me feel better. What do you feel that you're trying to comfort? Uh, the pain of being bullied and about, you know, my weight. Okay, Brittany, let's um, work through that pain. Now locate that sadness. Go back to the most recent incident where the sadness and you're feeling the pain that driving you towards food. Where do you feel the sadness and anger in your body? They're in my heart. So just keep breathing. Go into your heart where you feel that sadness, that anger. What's it like in your heart? Dark, light. Can you go into that darkness? So you're moving down into it. Get to the very bottom. So when you avoid it, you can't change it. And you're using food to escape, escape it. By going towards it, you can actually transform it and change it. Because you're not facing it just to relive it. We're facing it to transform it. Can you feel that? Take it out your body and burn it. Focus on your feeling of control. Do you feel that? Focus on the love. Where is the love? In the heart. That's your commitment to yourself. Are you committed to taking care of yourself? Yes. Let's bring that light through your body, focusing on feeling your worth, your value, your self-love, using that to support your sadness, to nurture you through the sadness and the pain. Is it less scary? Yeah, definitely. You have this control to give yourself what you really need. Love, not food. This is what you can do for yourself every day and every time you go to eat, rather than turn to food, you have the power to look within yourself and inside of yourself to your own power to nurture and love you and give yourself what you truly need. Can you see that? Do you feel your power, Brittany? Yes. Do you know that you can do it? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Brittany. Thank you. What, what are your feelings? I feel like really upset with myself, like disappointed in myself for getting to this point that I'm at right now. And how often are you doing that? Every time I work out. Tell me a little bit about your relationship with food right now. There is no relationship. It's just something that I, I obviously need to do, otherwise I'm not going to function very well. Let's go into the fear of failure. Okay. Ready? So you're going to close your eyes. And just breathe. Where do you feel your fear of failure in your body? In my feet. How long have you felt the fear of failure in your life? Almost as long as I can remember. How long have you struggled with your weight, Sheree, in your life? It started very early. We did, I didn't have a good diet when I was a kid. How do you feel about yourself? It's not an even feeling. Sometimes I don't feel great, and other times I do feel really good about myself. But I feel like it should be consistently better. I know I'm very hard on myself. So when you're hard on yourself, what are you doing? What are you saying to yourself? I'm just saying, like, you can, you're supposed to be able to do this. You can do this. So let's work on supporting yourself. Just giving yourself a hug, a warm embrace. Yes? How does that feel? It feels good. Open your eyes. <laughs> what are you learning? That I need to be easier on myself and to love myself. Okay, hug. So here is the challenge for this week. We're gonna put our high heels on and walk down Temptation Avenue with no fear. That's right, I have an app. It's called Tiffany Roth Workouts. You can download it on iTunes or on Android and you can post pictures on this app. So our challenge this week, you're gonna see something that tempts you, Take a picture of it, identify the culprit, and tell me how you overcame that temptation. If you're at home and you think, I'm craving some baked goods, right? <laughs> you're just craving it. 
Take a picture of it and tell me how you overcame that craving. This is how we're gonna get stronger. We're gonna support each other. As you go on that app and you see, okay, she didn't give in, she didn't give in. We're still strutting down this road, arm in arm, resisting temptation. Just imagine how amazing we're gonna feel at the end of the week. Her emotional eating break breakthrough experience is spectacular. I wanna make sure that you have all the benefits that we have as contestants, so please, Get this package for yourself. It's a 12-week program that we're going to be referring through for the duration of the challenge, and I want to make sure that you are armed and ready to be successful. My goals are to like enjoy choosing healthy foods, not like wake up one day and say like I don't feel like going because like for me the hardest thing is waking up. This is the beginning of making everything else in my life better. Mine would be to not be so emotionally attached to things that won't make my body feel great. Definitely stay focused and um, have fun with this. My goal is to be mentally um, stronger mm -hmm. and committed to, mm -hmm. to staying and maintaining healthy. Mm -hmm. And my goal is to revolutionize the definition of fitness. Fitness does not have to mean that you have a six pack abs and a high booty. The definition of fitness is that you are mentally strong, that you are physically happy, and that you are emotionally stable and positive. So once we do that, we enjoy our life at the highest level, make those healthy choices, feel good about saying no in certain situations, and move on because this is the way we live our lives. So make sure that you guys stay with us on this journey. Every week we're gonna do the recap and I wanna hear your stories about how you did with the workouts, with the challenges, so that we can stay in this whole theme. And what's our motto? We're better together. This week's recommendation for healthy, nutritious eating on the go is Life Kitchen. If you're out and about, there is a healthy option out there for you. Choose Life. So I'll see you next time on The Fittest Winner.